get this and do it. Good day. Cut. Simple as that. It's a nice basic run. Beware. And I guess for Act One we start with. Actually, I should. I should roll the first wheel. We had one, two, three, four, five subs. Six. Wait. One, two, three, four, five, six. So we we'll do wheel uh, players one to four to start. Let me get my wheels. <laughs> And let me capture them as well. Seven. Seven subs. Seven uh, subs. Uh, uh. Seven subs. Ah, 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 ah. Why is that not capturing? Eight. Eight subs. Hold on. I got a window capture this. Relax, chat. Why are these not capturing? There we go. And then let me add another one. Window capture. I guess they can go on top of each other. Okay. Thank you, Skyman. Cool. So we'll uh, we'll do this intro and then we'll roll the first wheel and then we'll start the run. What's up, YouTube? Mr. Lamissy here, and today we're going to be doing a fun little run. This is a run uh, suggested by a viewer right here. And so it is going to be very basic. We're going to do a summon necro through hell. However, the little twist will be at the beginning of each difficulty, or each act, excuse me, we'll roll a wheel. It'll either be players one to four or players five to eight. Um, and then just the number of subs from the previous um, difficulty act. Why do I keep saying difficulty? The previous act will then uh, influence which wheel is spun. So it's just going to be uh, 12 right there at the start. So you can see right there, there's the rules. I'll just push them to this corner. Every act, roll a wheel. Less than 12 subs, player 1 to 4. Greater than 12 subs, player 5 to 8. Simple as that. So we will start off with players 1 to 4 on the roll. And then we will go from there. And it will start players two. Players two will be our start. Good day. Let's do it, baby. And this will be the summon necromancer. So we'll be summoning Beware. like crazy. And I guess I have to check with the... Uh, Check with the guy to see if we do um, anything further with it. Like if I'm allowed corpse explosion, I would hope so. Corpse explosion is, you know, very much within a summoner's build. Summoning is kind of like having a baby. Yeah, it's like having lots of babies. Very low quality gloves break on the first swing. I know, right? Uh, all right, let's get our skellies. Oh yeah, we have uber skellies now because the skill shrine. They're so strong. 
But that's CE and curses. Definitely curses are allowed. I'm just, you know, thinking if CE is allowed or not. That'd be the only question, really. And uh, that looks like there's a den down there. Let's just drop a TP. Get some vitality and let's keep on oh, trucking. Oops, I thought this was the unsub button Kappa IO doll. What? I guess we need a counter for subs per act, don't we? Chat, just keep keep track in your noggin. Anytime somebody subs, you just say the number and then we'll know. To know better than to trust chat? You think chat would lie? I think we know different chats. Good day. Mm -hmm. We have a hundred subs so far. <laughs> Perfect. Thank you for your honesty and quality tracking. Sense. I haven't played a summon Necro in a little bit, it feels like, really. Subs are at nine. Thank you. We are at nine. We'll put one point into mastery. Twitch chat still an agent of chaos. You're not wrong. But we do have a great chat here. One of the best chats. Don't know why I got so many mana potions. Not like I'm gonna go crazy summoning things. One open socket. Darn you. Playing a summon necro that's not naked. <laughs> Does everything I do have to be naked? That's the real question. We can use, not teeth, but I could use corpse explosion and curses would be my assumption because again, this is this is playing a summoner, you know, a summoner like a summoner. Nudity proves you're not cheating. Fair point. Helps with the llama only fans. Oh my god. No, only fans. Good, uh, bringing us to 10 subs. I used to have a counter. I don't know where that counter went. It's on my old computer. I forget what it was called. I just want gold, man. It's we're really not finding a ton of gold. Which is very sad. Cause I wanna go buy a nice wand.
You can only count to ten. I'm on my own from here. Dang. All right, all right, all right. Uh huh. Uh huh. Three to skeleton master. Yeah, I, I mean, I just am not gonna have enough gold right now. Alright, we'll just have to really try and, like, get some gold as we go here. Yep. I wish we were playing online on that one day where we could get infinite gold. That would have been the way to go. Is that a run to hell? It is. I need my You can play online to the 100 faster run walk? Yeah. Silliness. I really should put a point in amp damage. I guess I'll put my next point there. You forgot the t shirt? Oh, my Argentina t shirt. Oh no, maybe when Mugro gets home, we can have her bring it up. That's right. Ooh, short staff. Let's go, baby. Give me 5k gold for it. Alright. Now we've got amp damage. Now we can start cooking a little bit more. Chest, chest. <laughs> a mod where you could go past players eight. Hmm. I mean, you could go all the way to P sixty four in the old days, right? Or P. Yeah, I think P sixty four. But it was very different back then. The game was the game was quite different from what it is today. So. Give me the gold. Show me the money. Nice. Nice. Oh, we're really starting to rack up this gold. This is nice. Baby giveaway. Yeah, maybe we shouldn't have it set as exclamation mark baby then exclamation mark giveaway. So like reverse it or something. <laughs> we're not giving away babies here. This is a Not enough note. Okay, let's go find the rockin' Mishu. Yeah, a hundred fast run walks for the event. Nobody wants a baby? I don't think that's true. Are we or are we not giving out babies? There, are, There's no babies currently being given away. I'm sorry if you felt there was false advertising. Rabagast N gifted a tier one sub to Squid Minister. Thanks, Rabagast. That's 11 subs. One more sub, and we'll roll the higher wheel for the next act. We really should have made it 20. It's a terrible idea. I sense many spirits around the stones. Tier 3 sub, baby raffle. Maybe roll the wheel every 12? But then we would only be rolling higher wheels. Thanks, 
Elemental Chaos. Plus, then if we ever hit P8, chat will just never sub again. <laughs> I'll be like, we're good. Okay, let's go back to town. Nice. Yes. Money, 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 money. Fifty-five hundred, getting better. Three to bone armor. Two to raise skeleton for seventy-seven. Can't afford that. We're, we're making money though, which is good. The one called Bubbles! Thank you. We're on players two right now. The order welcomes you. Maybe it goes. At the start of every new act, I roll the players one to four. Every time we hit 12 subs from there on out, I will roll the P5 to 8. Good day. Two to raise skeleton, still 7,700. Okay, so we just can't afford two to raise skeleton yet. Bender found four. Oh my god. I can't carry anymore. Maybe later. No. Am I 12? 12 months too. Uh, you are 13. So, d would you guys prefer that way or the way we currently have? Every 12, we reroll the top wheel. And then at the start of each act, we do this. Or just, if it hits 12, then we're good to go. I'm open to either option. Chat choice. First option, start of every act is one to four. Every time we hit 12, we roll higher one. If we double it, you have to roll it twice and pick the sec the higher option. Great. All right, let's roll the high wheel then. Roll P1 to P4 wheel. Player seven. Great. Roll P5 to P8 wheel. All right, so now we're at one sub and players seven. Still only three skellies? Come on, I want more skellies. Rooster's having a stroke. Let the rooster crow, man. Poor rooster. Running around at P7? Yeah. Yeah, let's see how they do here. Come on, you gotta hit. Jesus. Alright. Oh wait, we're six. I could've got a clay golem. That would've been nice. I'm trapped!
Hey, boy. Big density. Can you go save Kane? Yeah. Are we going to get a white one? I O doll. I O doll. I O doll. Mercenary. Uh, white one doesn't really do a lot for us. I guess it would give us some corpse explosion, but... Just shopping like a plus to necro skills one would be best, honestly. I need mine. Need some poison pots? Not wrong. Not wrong. Yeah, I haven't dropped any. Fire not getting the golem? I will, I just forgot him. Golem mercenary. That'll all be good shit. I am overburdened. Ooh, a wand? Come on, be the big money wand. Do it! Ah, uh, it's one to corpse explosion. Corpse explosion on players 8, 7 is bad though. Thank you, the teacher. So we are at two subs from another wheel roll. We're getting some gold though. Blessed aim will be really nice, I know. Slowly but surely. This is an S tier build. It's an S tier build because it's great for newbies. Okay, so let's do. Uh, ooh, some strangling gas pots as well. Take a second, but it'll get there for sure. Uh, let's get the strength here and on our two open socket. Is an actual verse not worth it? I mean, she's probably. Ah, since we have all the guys tanking, probably does increase her value. Experience since we had some demon carver groups here and stuff, whatnot. And we're getting okay gold as well, which I like a lot.
Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna probably get her a little bow and everything and we'll make it We'll make it happen. Get Mr. Man. This is player seven right now. Ooh, that's a beautiful first torch. Look how much extra gold we're getting though. Really nice. Hmm. Is there any value in actually buffing this? I don't think so. Raise skeleton it is. Lovely. Ooh, 15 block rate. Beautiful. Money, 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 money. And not a lot there. 16, 12. We're up to 10k. Two skelly mastery, two teeth, one clay golem. We really got a terrible map for trying to oops, farm it all, though. Plus, we do have this helm as well for a little bit more. This will go through hell. Might take a couple days through hell, though. So we can get to like 10 FCR. Three to raise skeleton, two amp damage, but it's 25k. Gosh darn it. Ah. Uh. I really wish we had the other map with the top left or bottom right exit so we could not be in this awful amount of time to run. Tutor A Skeleton 10 FCR. I don't really need the FCR. One to click Golem Tutor A Skeleton, but it's 20 grand. I think we should go get a little bit more gold. And that is going to be my thought. If we can get up to like 25 grand, I think we can buy a really nice one. And maybe even something like 15, 16 grand. Might be able to get like a three to raise skeleton plane. You know, maybe like 18 grand or something. Crude preserved head. Come on, baby. Ah, nothing on it. All right, we'll imbue that sucker, though. That'll be our imbue. I need money. Okay. Oh, holy freeze. Summoner lol AFK all day. Some people like AFK all day. 
it's a great, you know, build for someone who's uh, getting into the game, who maybe has some sort of disability. <laughs> or just enjoys really taking it nice and easy. Perfect. Poison Shrine, beautiful. Thank Let's you for endless much YouTube stuff here content as we can. while I'm at work. Happy holidays. Bring it all around, see if the poison shrine can do. Not bad. Make sure to respect to Jelly Roll later. Can't forget Jelly Roll. Thank you, Demon Slayer and Rag. That brings us to three subs. Before another roll, and we're at player seven. I am overburdened. I am overburdened. I believe that is correct. I can't carry it. Maybe we do. This current P7 subs to next roll three out of twelve. Perfect. Skeleton and perfect. At P8, why would anyone sub? Well, it'll drop back down at the next difficulty. So if chat manages to hit the P8, then you know it lasts for some time before it drops. Uh huh. 25, 25, and then the six. The cold res, 13 grand. Still need a little bit more money. Good evening. We're also now at the point where we can just hire a mercenary. Hello. So let's get Aliza. Thank you, Shinbo. Hi there. Yes. One to two cold damage. Maybe we just get that, or we just get the socketed bow and put the gems in it. I kind of like that idea. You just have to be level eight, I believe. Once you're at level eight, then you're good to go. And thank you to Skylo as well. Appreciate you both. Mwah. Greetings. No, I keep going the wrong tab. Uh, I just want like a three open socket bow, man. No, your minions will not not get frozen. They'll still get frozen on their own there. What you need? Ten IAS is kind of nice. A little expensive though. Good morning. 
Do we just buy the two open? No, I want to get her the three open socket bow so we can really put some damage in there for her. Good to see you. Thank you. All right, let's load her up. I'll put that there you go, Lisa. Just... And let's go save Mr. Kane. What about an iron golem out of an item with that stat? Then yes, he would have cannot be frozen. But the these, they're kind of their own entities in a way. In a way they're also not though. Because like the magic find still, you know, works and stuff. No, oh, nothing on it. We go into hell? Yeah. Ring. Alright. All that's left of the cloud Tristram. Get him, baby. Ooh, preserved head. Come on, big money. One to dim vision. Womp womp. Decker Kane, if you value your life, leave here immediately. Immediately. <laughs> Yeah, let's get some big gold items. Let's find like a super nice, you know, staff, wand, scepter. All the good good. I need mana. Thank you, paramedic! How you doing? Chip Topaz, beautiful. Boom. Big old damage for her. Another preserved head, one to clay golem. We'll, we'll take it. It's a small buff, but a welcome one. That maybe is worth a little bit. Enjoying a day at work. Me too. Get him! Get him, babe! Nice! Wrecking face over here! Cannot be frozen does not impact the minions. Yeah, minion is a mercenary, so they act the same. You're done with work for 2022, let's go! And let's grab work's leg, and let's grab all this gold in here. Maybe 200 gold, and we need all the gold we can get, baby. All right, it's time to go home. Stay a while and listen. Thank you, fam. Save that for the imbu. Another ring. Two to dexterity. Money, 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 money. All right, we're almost at like 18 grand. Two to clay golem, one to dim vision, two to clay golem, one to teeth, one to raise skeleton, two clay golem, one dim vision. Okay, 
nothing quite there. Nice head. Revives can also be frozen, yes. The order welcomes Every, everything can pretty much be frozen there. Two to clay golem. Lots of like clay golem boosters. One to raise skeleton, two to skeleton mastery. And that's only 6,800. I, that's not bad, but I do want more to raise skeleton, I think. Uh, that's not bad. I mean, that's basically like plus three of something. It's slightly worse, but at only 6,800. I'm going to go with it. I'm gonna go with that for now. No, that'll only get one open socket. So we can't socket that for a white later, but that's okay. Do I still play D2R D or just D2R? Mostly just D2R. I I am surprised and shocked at how good of a job they did with D2R. But it's so good that I, I don't really feel the need to, to go back, you know? Say kudos to them for crushing it. Plain and simple. Don't I miss a like pluggy? There's definitely some things that I miss from D2R, but or from D Diablo 2 LOD, but I don't think it's enough. I think that's the the piece. I just don't think it's enough to to make me feel like I'm missing out. I need to go back. Look at that damage. Let's go, baby. Extra strong archers. Goodbye. Yeah, I, re I really like this. Paramedic underscore boldly gifted a tier one sub to back in days. It's a nice, a really nice boost to their damage having that. Ooh, another preserved head. We found so many of them. One to amp damage. Haven't hit the preserved head that we need yet. Here's another one. Two to clay golem. I mean, I'm not gonna fight it. I'm not gonna fight that. I can't carry anymore. Getting a lot of plus to skills here, which is solid. And a scepter. Nothing on it though. Darn. Um, Golem Mastery is probably our point at level 12. Could also do Iron Maiden, though maybe a little premature. I mean, the Golem Mastery isn't super needed right now. I'd rather get my skeletons, keep buffing those puppies. Crushing it, man. I'm proud of her. Let's go ahead and put that there. Grab this buckler. Because I still want a lot of gold. I mean, if we can find a super wand, like a, you know. Getting the plus to array skeleton is going to be even more helpful. Preserved head. Okay. There's multiple things I want here. Let's kill all the stuff and then go home and heal. That's a great chest, yeah. A lot of potential in it. Okay. Hello. Alright, so. You can sell, you sell, you sell. 
You sell, you sell, you sell. Probably sell one of those and sell that. And that's 3k. <laughs> I know how that can go. Put that all in there. Alright. Chip skull, very nice. Big money! Ah, nothing. But, yeah, I mean, Detour is missing some features that LOD had, but the amount of stuff you gain from the beauty in the game and all sorts of things, I think, is is enough. I'll put that to good use. No. At Mr. Llama SC, I just want you to know how much I enjoy your streams. Uh -huh. I make sure to resubscribe with Prime each month. I've spent a lot of time sick and in the hospital, and don't get to play D2 as often as I'd like. But watching your stream is always so much fun, smiley face. Sorry to hear that. Thank you very much, though. Mwah! Big kisses to Pango Pirate, Paramedic, and Broly Poly. That brings us to 8 out of 12 subs before we get the next roll of that wheel. Player 7, Countess? I know. Sad. What's D2R missing? I think it's missing mods capabilities. Um, there's just some random bugs kind of here and there with it. Um, I mean, there, there's definitely some uh, a few things. If I, if I I've made I feel like a list before. We went into that. I almost want to get Skelly Mages, but I know they suck. But I almost want them. Rag with five gifted subs, which rolls us to 13 and then 14. All right, we're going to roll the wheel. Just for you. Two to teeth, one to raise skeleton, one to bone armor. So I'd be losing two to clay golem. Ooh, tower room, nice. Hmm. We'd be losing one, two golem to gain one raise skeleton. tricky one I thought it was higher of the two all right we can make it higher of the two and keep it on player seven if you guys like so you can just only get the chance to keep rolling up if you want Good day. long as you ever seen me stay in act one a little bit of time here. I mean, it's only 45 minutes. I've stayed in Act 1 for hours in Man vs. Dreams. Good day. And let's talk to game. Okay. Greetings. Uh huh. Let's two to raise skeleton, one to teeth. So one to raise skeleton, two to skeleton mastery. I say I think we would need a three to raise skeleton to actually beat it out. 
Hero Siege. I have not played Hero Siege. That one is unfamiliar to me. Get mages, they're OP, trust me, bro. I'm gonna not trust you on that one. I'm sorry. Oh my god, pick it up. I'll put that to good use. I'll put that to good use. We should also get the chance to lower it down. Oh man, y'all make me smell good. Can we easily go through normal and nightmare on P8 with a summoner? I mean, I think it'll still take some good old time. Summons are stuck back there. There we go. We're currently at player seven. Last roll did not succeed in increasing it to P8. Six galleys now. Don't think you'll make another one? It's a different way to play for sure. It's not for everybody. Totally fair. It's not just for people with disabilities. People with disabilities can also play none. I'm just saying it is a less micro-intensive build if you want it to be. You can also be very, you know, constantly spamming you know, damage on everything and moving around and doing a lot of stuff with it. There's still plenty that you can be doing. Definitely getting some okay moolah now. Burn from Worldstone Keep, let's go! Super cheap, doesn't require a lot of items. Hey Doom, how you doing? Llama RPG is coming together, man. I am really loving where it's starting to get to. We've now got skills almost set, again, in their beta form, their basic beta form. And items, combat, basic story, brow room. A lot of decent stuff. Similar to D2 at its core, yeah. 
Already signed for the closed beta. We'll have a sign up thing as at some point with it. Nice. All right, now we've got all the money we need. Probably, we can shop for if we can get it a plus three raised skeleton, maybe with more. Three to teeth. Probably good dough. Where we'll end up at. Good day. Two to bone armor. Two to raise skeleton. Two to clay golem. Three to raise skeleton. One to skeletal mage. Thirty-five grand. Oh, okay, we can't quite afford that. If we sell some things, we, we might actually be able to. Where was it? One skeletal mage. I, I don't think it's worth it. If it was mastery, I would rip it in a heartbeat. But the mage is just bumping the cost up a lot for nothing. Give me Golem Mastery or something instead if you're going to do that, you know? Yes. Two to raise... One to Skeletal Mage. Again, lots of mages here. Two to raise Skeleton Plane. What's the new daily bonus? Has it rolled yet? I guess it just did. Uh, I don't know. What's it say? It'd be online. This is offline. Good day. Golem, bone wall, corpse explosion. I don't hate that. Three to Iron Maiden. Hundred percent damage to undead. Okay. Yes. Three to clay golem, two to clay golem, three to clay golem, two to clay golem. Where's my skeletons? You're a dirty controller player? What's wrong with you? Just kidding. Only one more? Three to corpse, three to amp damage, three to iron maiden. Yeah, the 22 Knights of Terror bonuses have been lackluster. 100 fast run walk seems silly fun. Two to raise skeleton, plane. We're not doing shopping music, guys. We're just... Play Golem. Good friends. Three to raise skeleton, two to amp damage. That's probably our wand right there. Yep, that, that'll be our wand. Three raised skeleton, two amp damage, one corpse explosion. What a wand. Woo! What a beaut. Good, day. Good job, Chopping Music. You did it. Do I want to continue for my stealth or not? Probably irrelevant. Let's go forward. Ooh, seven skellies with this new wand. Very nice. 
Yep, that's why we wanted to save up to like that 25 grand. There's just, just it's just the sweet, the sweet spot. Really can start getting a lot of good stuff there. Okay, and we still don't even have a good head yet. We can get ahead with a couple plus to skellies on it. That'll really start to ramp us. Chugging along, boys and girls. Alright, so our new amp damage is 3.3 .3 yards for 14 seconds. That's nice. has the stench of demons about it. Hit recovery is all about how much damage a monster takes in relation to its life, so... Join my army. How many skeletons is Max like if you have gear and like a level 45 raised skeleton or something? How many skellies do you get? Uh... What's the max number of skellies you can get? Is it like 14 maybe? Something around there. 15 or 16? Level 45 would be 17? Okay. I wasn't sure if it quite was at 17. Should have spec skelly mages. Should I have though? Should I really? Not so certain on that one. Let's go take a peek over here. Blood Golem's good and normal. Is Traps an easy to play through the game with? Yeah, it's one of the easier characters. Yoink and Bounce, that's my name. That I've done my whole life. Now the nice thing is, this wand is going to be solid for a while. I'll probably Iron Maiden. I'll, I'll definitely have to try it out and see how it flows. Corpse explode. It doesn't do as, as much here as we would like, though. What happened to Rainbow Sorceress? We finished her, right? I think so. Oh, I haven't put it on YouTube. Yeah, I have to go highlight. So today, at the end of stream, we'll probably do some long RPG, and then we'll probably do some highlighting. Because I have to highlight a few things, honestly.
Get those skellies pumping. Let's get these champions. And Corpse explosion, the best skill in the game? Certainly feels like it sometimes. Uh, I mean, I'd argue like the teleport is probably better. Starvation. But corpse explosion is very good. Find item could also potentially be a better skill in the game overall. I can't carry anymore. Nah, skill you may just suck. But it's it's up there. It's definitely up there. I believe um, it was it was named you know one of the most OP skills for sure. Top five, yeah. Like Max Schaefer, when I interviewed him, he said that was the most ex uh, OP skill in the game, in his opinion. Today's bonus is 100% damage to undead. But again, you know, very opinion based for that. My first five hour bar run. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The history of the barbarian. Crazy how far it's come. I did not enjoy, or like get to enjoy the fast run rock bonus. Yesterday was one year since Moo Girl and I started talking, so we went out and had a nice day together. So I, I, I didn't uh, get to go and mess around with it. We just can't call it the anniversary because uh, I don't know if there was, we remember what day it was, date stuff. Seems easier to do that. Um, all right, yeah, we, we have like such a good one. I'm not even gonna bother, but I do want to go and imbue this puppy. Wonder Ray's skeleton. I, I kind of want to run this Wonder Ray's skeleton over the two to clay golem. I just feel like the clay golem, it's like whatever. Doesn't really have much benefit. You know, compared to how many skeletons we have actually doing things. So let's let's keep focusing on the skellies. Good evening. And let's imbue come on! One to golem mastery. Darn. Womp womp. Well, we tried. She'll probably know exactly what. She can't hear it from me. I mean, yeah, maybe they're afraid of botters taking advantage of the buffs. Though, if they were afraid of botters taking advantage of the buffs, having one day where you could gamble all those circlets and everything like that for free is pretty nuts. Rune Ward was a Necrohead. But player count for Pit Zerker offline. Player is one. You only care about killing the boss. presence here. So only P1 is going to matter for you. Well, I mean, it all transfers down into non-ladder, you know, and that's got its whole player base and stuff, so... What's the best base shield for a pound and dream? Uh, oh, 
try to like make it in the sacred target or something, right? Very good. Vortex shield can be nice. Yeah, I'd say a 45 all red sacred target would be the best one that I would personally want. Love a good zealot paladin. Zealots are, are pretty fun. They are pretty enjoyable. Hey, Zoom! Thank you. Appreciate ya. Mwah. Two is always worth getting. Agreed. There's only a couple games I would say are always worth getting, and Diablo 2 is one of them. Llama RPG is probably another one of them, just from what I'm hearing is going to be a, coming from that game. Don't have anything, you know, specific all about it yet. I'm just saying what I've heard through the grapevine. Getting a lot of hype. level what about it it'd be great one to t darn oh, i probably should have done that one in iron maiden that's okay i think we'll still be okay our summons are pretty dang strong right now Peyton win. Making my first infinity today. Chat said don't worry about the rune order, so I'm putting them in as I get them. Oh no. Oh no no no. Is COH also good? Uh, hold on, this is... Ow! Good lord, trapped in there. I mean, it, it wouldn't be terrible, because a lot of your damage is coming not from the physical aspect. But, you know... The nice part about it is you still can't do a lot of physical damage with fortitude, so you'd be losing a lot of that. I almost wonder if it's better to run the Act 2 Mercenary, or if it's better to run an Act 3 Fire Mercenary so he'll enchant all of my summons. I don't know. Like, Acting Mercenary gives all the auras, but all those summons could be super fun. Back to the hell Oops. that spawned that skull. Did I watch Bullet Train? Yeah, I liked it. Hello. I also watched Amsterdam. Not that great. 
pretty pretty boring overall. Pretty bland movie. Yes. We watched that last night. But bullet train was pretty fun. How may I help you? Rag keeps trying to tell me to go see Avatar. He says it's totally worth it. Have not seen that one yet. Robot! Oh, wait, wait, wait! We need to re-roll the wheel. Players one, come on! Ah, oh, players three. All right, players three it is. I don't know, depth check. And t-shirt. I guess I need to start that over whenever we roll through to a new act. Otherwise, you could always just keep it at 11 and then immediately screw me. Yeah, thorns is, is nice. And I have to be able to get to Thorns there. We could get a Blood Golem. Let's go for a Blood Golem instead of the Clay Golem. Let's see how he does. I can't carry any. Sure. Iron Maiden. Amp damage is, is just crushing right now. Seven to twenty. Converts eighty-six percent damage to life. We're on P three at the moment, yes. I can't carry any more. This will go to hell. Just like you if you don't subscribe to the channel. Just kidding. Just kidding, that's just a rumor. I mean, Spirit gives you all the FCR and stuff, so if you're using Enigma, it can definitely be worth. We're just casting a lot. Steps down from 4 to 2. Yeah, because we hit the new act. So it resets it all. should be in there, but I guess not. I definitely feel like I should probably just go get the act tumor scenario, at least for right now. I mean, Eliza's nice, but
And it's hard to be jacked, yeah. Doing a good job. Um, let's find a waypoint, shall we? Llama RPG might have Act Six in it. Good belts or gloves, like no magic find. Very sad. Yeah. I'll tell you what, though, you guys, the more and more that we get developed with Lama RPG, now that we've got, you know, like, skills kind of more in place, monsters will be starting here really soon, all that stuff, the more excited I get. It is really, really starting to come along. And I just, I just feel like it could be a darn tootin' real fine game. My medicine that I take makes me young, so... Kinda sucks. Thank you. This is to you. Could also try and roll some crazy, crazy ones if we wanted right now. Ooh, I could also roll some heads. Maybe I should do that. All right, let's save all blue preserved heads that we get. Paladin Paul. Dang, Mincer. Update counter. You're right. Three. Uh, the dolls will focus my minions, so uh, I don't have to worry actually very much about them. What up, Team Rage? How you doing? Dolls aren't really that bad on summons, so it's not a big deal. Work gave me a gift card, <laughs> so using it here. Ah, Risperin, thank you very much. Very sweet of you. down low somehow? Oh, it is down low. That's right. We'll go kill over here. That 
guess we'll just do a Blessed Aim Mercenary. That makes the most sense. I could do Prayer if I really wanted. Oh no! It's locked. It's time for hell. All right. It could be worse. Players three magnet layer, not as bad. Knows. I can tell you in a couple minutes, Renu. Come on. Corpse explosion is not good on players eight, though. I get to Carpify for Duriel. Maybe, but maybe not. Like I say, my summons are doing such a good job. Come on. Hurry up. Thank you, Tana. When do I plan on launching the alpha? When we can launch the alpha. Thank you, brand new Moo Moo, for the sub. Eight left to a roll. Ooh, that is very nice. Come on, man. It's, it's just, uh, you know, we gotta do it when we can. I, we don't have a set date, but I want to make sure that it's, you know, at least in Impossible. a basic state. And I almost like the idea of kind of releasing it in pieces in a way, but... You know, I think it will be better just to do it in alpha, whatever, just make it... Just have a nice basic alpha where people can run around, demo the game, have some fun, test some stuff out. Oh, okay. okay. Etc. Hey, Stannis, welcome. Happy to have you. Oh my god. So I found a, an art pack that had a lot of stuff that I liked. And then I'm like kind of hiring out some other art. Just because I haven't... We found people who like want to do some music and contribute music and some people who want to like help with code and stuff. Um, but we haven't, we haven't found anybody who is like, I'm an artist and I want to do all the art for the game. So right now I'm just having to kind of like buy little pieces of art here and there. But like I said, I have a base pack that I really like. Do I need a research chemist? I don't think so right now. I'll let you know if that changes. Impossible. Uh, sure. Impossible. It's it is the pack. It's it's on our GitHub. I guess you're on it. I can yeah, I can send you over. It's it's like the sprite art though, so I don't know if it's gonna be quite useful to you. 
Impossible. Karen, nice. There will be crafting. Blessings to you. Come on. No magic fine gloves. Brutal. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. So let's continue. Without using town portal or teleport? Hmm, not sure about both those restrictions. I definitely done no teleport. And no town portal, but again, I don't know if I've done each of them. Get it. Yeah, you can send it over to Thanatos. One more skelly. Al alpaca version instead of alpha version. Let's give. That's cute. right next to town. The Lost City! You can see it from the town. <laughs> I love it when it does that. Impossible. Lost. Oh god, Nolby. Kill him. Awful run. Bone wand. One to clay golem, one to corpse explosion, one to weaken. That'd be worth low money. Favorite D4 feature so far? I don't know, I'm gonna have to play through more. Get a good feel that way. Dum, dum. This place is as dark as a tomb. Just don't look out that window, it's lost, exactly. There's an open beta. Yeah. Wait, for Lama RPG or D4? You probably meant D4. That would make sense. Both? Impossible. I'm here for both. I'll probably go Barbarian or Sorceress, but Barbarian was looking pretty stacked. I played some Rogue when they gave us that, like, access, and I didn't really like it as much. Rogue wasn't quite doing it for me. The flow of the skills and things, yeah, I wasn't enjoying nearly as much, so... Look at her just tanking all these salamanders. Impossible. What a beast. Other people enjoyed the rogue. I just I just didn't enjoy it. Maybe I just did a build that wasn't very fun. With the caltrops and everything. Just didn't feel like there was much effect. The one to blessed aim, three to charge. What was happening and what I was doing and stuff. Um, belt, belt, belt. No, all trash stuff. I, I, 
It didn't feel like a D1 rug, no. That's what happened with D3? What's what happened with D3? Help me! I can't remember the lore about the Lost City, but maybe it's just a name like Lost Angeles or Lost Vegas. Maybe. Buying an abandoned? Oh. I mean, as of right now, they're very committed to D4 having, being like the game of the future. We'll see. Obviously, everybody has that idea at the start, you know, but. But right now they seem very committed to the idea of every three months. I mean, is that how they planned and whatnot for D3? That it was all the seasons were really gonna be meaningful and crazy new leagues and all this stuff? Like it really feels like they're they're gonna try and make it Diablo or like PoE style, right? Where you really get that like new league every time. Fantastic. I wish I had time to study this bizarre dimension. All right, so let's take some stuff. Keep that on the side in case I want it again. And I guess we'll go for Jamali. I'll put that to good use. So Okay. Um that seems good. I'll put that to good use. Is D4 about Paragon farming again? Yes. It's Paragon boards now instead of other like Greater Rift Paragon, whatever. So you have a board and you kind of like do different Paragon levels depending how you move along the board. And we'll, we'll see how it ends up playing out. So I played a this new raid thing in Warzone to unlock a camo, and when I beat it I was given the opportunity to spend $20 on the camo. What happened to gaming, lol? Yep. That's where Llama RPG comes in. If you are sick and tired of what has happened to gaming, Llama RPG is coming and should hopefully be the game that you expect a game to be and not the you've now beat this and unlocked the ability to give us twenty dollars that is that is it if you if you miss gaming where you weren't we're here while it wasn't the first priority llama rpg is for you Nineteen ninety seven Ultima Online will be in Lama RPG. Business businesses and businessmen have ruined gaming. That is my claim. Correct, Honey Badger, it's getting there. And some code. It is an honor to serve you. Oops. Mm -hmm. 
Exactly, Jimmy Tortellini. Oh, whoops, what am I doing in here? I have Arcane Um, Yeah, obviously mobile gaming is its own just awful mess of a disaster, but gaming just in general has just been been slowly creeping down the hill. I don't know where I was going. As more and more business people move in, and more and more design comes with monetization first. When you when you are designing a game and your thought is, how can we get the player to spend more money and how do we monetize this as opposed to how do we make an awesome game? The, uh, everything gets kind of lost. <laughs> right, you can't make art when your focus is just the money. Exactly. I mean, you can, but you can't, you know? If an artist is only creating art for the money, the art's quality is going to suffer. Impossible. But I'm saying, how many years did we have games not filled with microtransactions and it was still plenty profitable and still plenty fine? Plenty of years. This is, this is not an unsustainable model. It just isn't the ever constantly creeping, increasing profits that are forever and ever Good that companies you. nowadays oh. feel the need to, like, shove into everything. Games last plenty of time without all of that stuff. Exactly. Impossible. Exactly. When is when is it enough? You know, it's never enough, and that's the problem. I my dream, and this may not even be a reality in itself. I'm expecting to take some loss on Larma RPG, and that's just okay by me because this is an art that I want to create. But my hope and dream is that Lama RPG can support itself. That's it. Support itself and in the best case scenario make a little bit so we can give a little bit to the people who helped work on it. Impossible. It's not a strategic loss I'm trying to gain. I'm just, I just want to make it. You know, probably just lose money. <laughs> but again, so far, pretty much everything I've designed, except the tiny little funny monetization area pieces, has been just with creating the best game that we can in mind. And I think that'll do well. I believe in that system. All right.
Yep. I with my feet. Just like my knee up. Hmm, do I want to get a point? I, see, I feel like amp damage is actually going to be better than Iron Maiden still for this character here. I'm just gonna keep going, Skellies. I can't. I don't. Again, the the thing is, a white wand wouldn't be terrible for this character, because okay, if I put it in a plus three to you know skeleton wand or something, it's not. Awful, and I can also get some, you know, benefit. I need mana. But it's really just benefiting like my corpse explosion and stuff, and not really benefiting all the like good summoning. I feel like I'd rather just shop a wand that has like plus some necro skills on it. Really try and get a boost there that way. But yeah, I'm just I'm just really excited for Lama RPG. I've just seen the work that I've put into it, that other people have been putting into it. We've got, you know, generation now for Monsters needs to be... I need Sponsored to do more on Daddy it. Dagger. But the base is set up for it. Item generation is looking really solid. Thank you, Drunken. Seven subs to go. And uh, skills are looking really solid. We've got in the new fatigue system that I think is kind of cool. The crafting is, you know, we're going to be building more into that. But the base ideas for that is pretty solid. Yeah, every week it gets more and more exciting. I want to do even more with it. I can't. Sure, Doran. I can't. Hmm, interesting map. Ethrun, you need Ethrun. Cree, thank you very much for the sub. You made that? Yo, that's cool. GG, bro. Wondrae Skeletal Main, Wondrae Skeleton. Hmm. Do I need models like that? I don't need models like that, because it's going to be a 2D game. Um... Like that's super solid, but yeah, it's it's a 2D. Think of Stardew Valley Pokemon. That'll be kind of the art style. Kind of a mixed match of, of that in a way. So it should be a lot easier than that, <laughs> what you did. I really like yeah, like 16-bit, probably 32-bit or something. I don't know all the... I'd have to look and see. Terraria is probably a little too pixelated. It'll be less pixelated than that.
P3, let's go. No, my mercenary. He's a little, uh, a little stronger than we were hoping. Greetings. We'll get you later, Fogger. Yeah, maybe I should do Clay Golem just for the slowing. Not going, not worth going Iron Maiden. It probably was. I was kind of expecting him to be a little bit tankier than he ended up being, or him not as tanky and whatever. So that's all right. We'll just. Uh... Jesus. Perfect. Just need a one little town trip. Oh wait, I forgot to do act two. Perfect. I came too late. Let's do our roll. Destruction is let loose upon the world. Since we didn't bump up in that act, I'll keep the the six out of twelve, and we'll go here. Our roll for Act 3. Oh, come on! Oh, whew, all right. Players 2. Get the Act 3 Fire Mers. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. The Enchant might be worth more than the Act 2 Mercenary. Three to Bone Spear. I definitely think we'll go for the Act Three Mercenary here. Let him enchant everything. Yes. <laughs> yeah, he's a high enough level to enchant. He should be 19 or 20 actually.
can't carry anymore. Plus well, all the attack rating boost that he's gonna give them as well. Why don't I put gear on a mercenary? I don't have anything to give him yet. Get him a spirit of stealth and a lore, exactly. That'll be the ultimate gear for him later on. Move. Demon Slayer with si Oh boy. Six gifted subs. Oh, player seven. Mwah. Thank you so much, Demon Slayer. I had to remember for a second what happened. Very kind of you. Maybe I do need a point in Golem Mastery just to get my Golem keep him alive. Yo, yo, yo! This is softcore, but maybe I should have done hardcore. Uh, I have not seen that happen before. Interesting. I did not know that one at all. Impossible. Is there a way to tell if the skellies are enchanted from the mercenary? I don't believe so. They don't really show as like a red or anything. You just gotta trust that he's doing it. That bug still happening? I thought they got rid of that bug. We on we are on P7 right now. I need to update that to say P7. Hell run, yeah. I guess you can see whenever they summon into your range, if they have the fire that like that, then you know they're enchanted. Good hit. That's a way to tell, I guess. Impossible. NFCR, five to mana. It's nice. guys to get off of that <laughs> bridge. Darn it. Oh hey, they're cutie. Thank you, Trick. Impossible. Okay. One, two, three, kicks out on the four. The six is going straight. Player jungle, beautiful. All right, ran right into it over there. One out of 12. Two out of 12, thank you, Builder, as well. Impossible. I do need to shop a TP staff. Uh, 
I'm updating it manually. Impossible. I can't. I probably could do a session sub counter and then I just reset it every 12 or whatever. But that's alright. We'll just manually update it. Remember when we had 10k subs? Ah, the good old days. No, it was cool, but we knew that was gonna be a one-time fun event, you know. You don't, you don't plan for those things to exist any longer than that month. We just have to believe again. 10k subs for the baby? What happened to 10k? I mean, that was on like launch and all that stuff, you know? So, it just... Less people are here now. <laughs> we do have to crepify soon if we want it, which might not be terrible. You lied to us for six months? How did I lie to you? Because mm, I, I didn't tell you about the baby? You gave her airheads, sugar bad? Ah, uh, she enjoyed them still. I believe it was on Detour launch. Yeah, we hit like 10,700 subs or something. It's crazy. What's the next man for a stream? TBD. Like I say, it's been tough because pregnancy and all that stuff, so there's been kind of... Focus more on that and getting nursery ready and all those things. But and then we tried to do it and the software didn't work because it was like Windows 11, so I've downgraded Windows 10. I think it'll all work. Now. I think if we run it, we'll be good. But. Re-enchanting. Oh, thank you. You too, Pilka. Baby llama, yeah. All of chat being godparents, it's gonna be great. Are y'all ready for the responsibility? Feeling spicy? Yeah, Act 3 Mercenary. I want to try it out. It seems fun, you know? No pass? Too bad. No passing allowed. It's coming whether you like it or not. Twitch chat babysits kid would be interesting. We'll go out for dinner and let you guys handle it. I really need summon resist, so I guess I've messed up by not getting a point in Golem Mastery. 
Because the lack of resistances right now is atrocious. And absolutely wrecking us. Still speed it up. Skeletons were buffed. Not enough. Still not viable. This is great for newbies, yeah. Good day. Let's do that. After Flare Jungle, I may go do Radiment. So at 24 we can invest there. Yeah, the usual. Ah, it's probably good to get it before then. Oh, I do also need the Telly staff. Tricky, tricky, tricky. Well, we may just hit 24 before we get the Telly staff. Crap. I don't think I'm going to have much choice in that matter. Unless we just go home now. And shop it with just the waypoint. Might be the best way, honestly. Yeah, that would be really fun, SP. Hello. Maybe such a cool build. Good day. Fire Golem's actually very good now. Maybe you have to put a bunch of points into it, though. I wonder if that's how, uh, I kind of want to look at how Bender respects when he goes to his Thorns build. Greetings. Perfect. I mean, it's not always fun to be OP. In fact, I would argue a lot of times it's not fun to be OP in the game. Now, for some people, they won't always be super OP, but I, can't carry I, I do feel like a lot of times... I'll put that to good use. Impossible. Impossible. What really I think would be fun is if there was actually more continued challenge further on. Right? Like, what if the game just had different areas increasing that had different challenges and you had to work your way into the different areas and all that? And I'm not saying just like a greater rift where it just, you know, the next damage is exponential there and you have to beat it in the timer and whatever. 
Oh god, ow. I need Jeez. Well, Greater Rift, I feel like the Greater Rift problem to me comes in the way of there's no like really additional challenge that I get from the, the next Rift up. So much as just on her offhand it's just the the timer is the piece i think that's the big piece it's just a rat race and you just kind of like all right i'm like fighting the boss but i'm not doing the damage quite fast enough and so to me i i just didn't i just felt bored going through because i didn't feel like i was really like having all these good scaling pieces and stuff I was trying to like improve on and like it was harder and all this it was just like I have to do to do more damage faster or get the right setup in the greater rift you know so then I can do it so to me that's you know why the greater rifts are just like eh you know they're fine whatever I'm envisioning more there's another act there's another area there's another whatever and it just kind of keeps going in that way and it's not about you know can you finish this on a timer it's about completing you know harder and harder areas with newer content different content unique challenges Whatever, I think that's way more exciting and fun. So that's that's what I'm gonna try and aim for. Yeah, like what Median XL did, exactly. I think Median XL is fantastic exactly in that idea. It's just the next challenge. It's just harder. There's a new way you have to do this and try this, and it's just, it's brutal. It's very difficult. I, carry I love that. I carry Gargoyle anymore. ahead, nice. Tudor Ray's Skeletal Mage. <sighs> Help me. Hello, Mr. Strimmer. Hello. I have a question for you. Mm -hmm. You already know what it is, but I'll still ask, okay. because otherwise it's not really a question. Right. Anyway, how much is the Rainbow Barbarian? Five grand. Should be at least. Uh, I don't know. One to bow and spear. Gosh darn it. It was worth a try. Never seen that recipe before, have you? Two skulls of any type, a spiked club, and a magic shield. And that is that recipe. And we'll go with that. One to Blood Golem, two to Bone Spear. Man, why am I not speedrunning while I'm doing this? One to Bone Prison, That's one a to new Confuse. One on me. Yeah, it's a new one for a lot of people. And you get a spiked... Three to Raise Skeleton, one to Corpse Explosion. That's R1, but just a little worse.
and the 350. You don't know? Well, all right then. Here's the 350 for the sorceress. Wow. I know the barbarian is more, but let's get the ball rolling, shall we? Evil grin. Wait, why'd you say that? Mariki, you already paid me for the sorceress. Didn't you? Unless I'm drunk. <laughs> It's a down payment for the Barbarian. Okay. Maregi, thank you I'm so back. much with the 350 diapers. Probably more than that. It's like 700 diapers, maybe. Absolutely insane. What a hero. Good day. Hello. Mm, I will wear that. Yeah, I, I know that's gonna be crazy. Oh wait, I need to do Radiment. That's right. Yeah, it's gonna be rough, Prax. This community is so generous. This community is amazing. I am, I am uh, very, very blessed. I feel family. like I'm a hot tub streamer some days. If you combine a jelly roll and a battle pass, you get Diablo oh, Four. This is true. I do want to play Jelly Roll Necro at some point. You just got it for the Jelly Roll, you know? Impossible. Impossible. I can't. Impossible. Impossible. Yeah. Impossible. I wish I could give this guy leaf. Uh, let's just teleport. Gotta be the jelly baby. Impossible. When Diablo 4 and are you gonna play? It comes out on June 6th, and yeah, we'll play. We'll play, you know, leading into it, all the beta and everything like that, and give it a check, see how it's feeling. What we like, what we don't like. Hopefully it's fun enough that through the beta, I still want to play the game at the end of the beta. Impossible. Summon resist. Oh, maybe I'm supposed to go fire golem. Maybe that's the golem that we do, because he's got the thorns damage. Hmm. But again, I don't know if players eight thorns is really going to be that good. You know? Poison jab in hell. Kill me. That's gonna be a pricey one if we get to there. I can't. Wonder if the beta will be the one I just played or the end game one. Yeah, I don't know what they're gonna give for the next like beta. I 
I don't know where it's gonna be at. Hey, Putima. I wonder what Lama RPG beta will be like. Honestly, I'll probably just be. We'll just do like the game. Just kind of sell the game as an early access and have those people come in and help test in the first capacity or something. I don't know what the best way will be, honestly. We'll have to think on that one. Single release, no bugs? Okay, I'll try. Skull inside? Today's buff is more 100% damage to undead. Mm, I don't know, that's my mods. They're the ones that change that stuff. Of the dead farming. Chaos Sanctuary has some undead in it. Right? Sounds good. The mods get a paid holiday vacation. They can take vacation if they need vacation. Paid. Crit mausoleum. There you go. I can't. Flam RPG sells. 100,000 copies, we can talk about mods getting some paid vacations. You know. I've bounced around. I th I'm thinking $4.99 or $9.99 is the price Impossible. for the game. Or $6.66. Maybe that's a good price. That's right. $499 or $999 initial price. The problem with 666 is he probably will have a bunch of people who that would turn away, you know. Like, I can't buy the game with the devil number. T 
ten dollar bass with a fifteen dollar version that has the soundtrack. Yeah, exactly, something like that. Stay a while and listen. Yes. If you want to buy that as a little extra fun piece. <laughs> Search. Hundred dollar collector's edition that doesn't come with the game. Okay, nobody would make a hundred dollars collector's edition for a game and then not put the game in it. That doesn't even make sense, chat. Greetings. Y'all are silly. Y'all are silly. Nobody would ever do that. Like, what's the point? Well, what is that even? It just, it doesn't make sense. It's just, chat just being, chat's just being silly. One to Iron Golem. Nothing. Which version comes with the Mr. Law Messi hot tub calendar? Maybe we'll sell a version of that as well. Where did all the square inches of the house we bought go? What are you talking about? They're right here. They're in this room right now. I mean, I... Oh. I will tell you. Boom! You get the exclusive title page in the $100 version. So... Look at that. $100 collected, collector's edition with game included. Oh god, paint. <laughs> I can't. Thanatos, are you here? Showtime. That's that's what I want you to. I want you. You know how the when people like little kids do drawings and then artists turn them into actual beautiful drawings. I want you to do that to that art piece right there. That's what we want. Just not as a child. Uh, uh, complete build your girls on I am missing actual normal next life hell. Cooking kids is awesome though. I mean complete build and I'm missing act on the next five. I don't remember that. How can I meeting with the game creator now is in the best place of for making money? That's a good point. Yeah, we'll see how it how it ends up. Oh man, we have to go player seven Travancol. Oh, this is gonna be awful. When do I plan to reset skills?
I've got one point in summon resist, which is very, very helpful here. Getting to more more points would be nice, but we made it when we get. Uh, mm, I'm gonna say when we kill Ishul, that may be a good thing for us to do at that point. My God. Long to seasons last in which game? Before will be every three months, I think. In D2, they're every four months. Zero! Well, thank you for the 26 months. Very kind. Impossible. Impossible. Oh. I also kind of want to go towards Decrepify, though. There's a lot of potential things to do. How long do long RPG seasons last? Out of the gate? I'm not sure if there's going to be seasons in Llama RPG. I'm, I'm still toying with it because people do love seasons. But... It's locked. I also kind of see it, you know, again, if you go to like some older style games, seasons and ladders weren't always really a thing. And, and a lot of games really did fine without did them. Did I unlock audio yet? It just depended, uh, you know, you couldn't make the game too easy or whatever. But, you know, I think with a lot of things and the aim of having... Thank you, Notch Johnson. The aim of having um, certain pieces like... Yeah, exactly. Arcadius. Um just like really hard to get things. Some things will just be insane, like certain hats and things for your character may take you a year to get. You know, you may not get it because it's just such a hard hat to get. Whatever things, like, I really want it to be just super difficult for a lot of pieces. And then hopefully you know, with that, then yeah, you'll have some really super strong characters, but you'll also still have stuff to kind of go and do. But if it does feel like, you know, it would be better with seasons, we can move that to the non-ladder, and then the new ladder seasons or whatever could be a thing. You know, I mean, that's all stuff we can figure out if we want to do or not. go. I mean, honestly, just getting a spirit sword on this character is probably going to ultimately be the best thing. Seven Mephisto. We have the ability to increase the difficulty of the game right off the bat. And which one? Diablo 4? I believe they're planning on having difficulty 1 and 2 in Diablo 4 right off the bat. 
so you can start the game easier or harder. In Lama RPG, no. The game is one difficulty and that's it. You don't like it, play a different game. I need mana. Game will, game will be hard. And it may start a little easier and then get a little harder. You know, have a progression. <laughs> Hats are unique permanent permanent bonuses, yes. That would be great, Fuseroni. I've already got some, but obviously having more would not be a horrible thing. Alright! Three is oh, done. Mephisto. Give my regards to the abyss. Give ourselves the clap. We'll reset this here and roll our wheel. Iron Maiden will be a little better for bosses, but here it's not gonna be like amazing, amazing. We max that. I do think I want a couple more points in summoner resist. I'm gonna put a couple in there. It is players four. Come on, man. That's ridiculous. Why can't I ever roll P1? The thing is, I'm not sure if it'll be better on this player count to roll Spirit or to roll Thorns. Like on P1, definitely go Thorns. But what's the best route on P8? P4. Hard to say. Cheat counter count? Nothing. Alright. Ah, it's a different you gotta be a different breed for it, Meg. I can't. Diablo we may need to actually get Iron Maiden for. I can't. Cause he's gonna kill all my summons like instantly. Is better than Emilio? Uh, I'm trying to figure it out. The enchant of everything is is nice, so uh, you know. Can I get revives? I'd have to be level 30 to get revives. I doubt I'll have level 30 by there, considering I'm only 26 now. Getting level 30 in Act 4 is a little tough. But I do like that we've gotten a couple extra skills into res summon resist. That'll definitely be helpful. And then obviously getting some more mastery will boost us up a bit.
focus on Storm Moth. Feels so much lack of damage. I mean, this is players four. It's gonna lack a little bit on P4. But I think it's moving through at an okay speed so far. I'm not like upset with it right now. We'll see where it gets to later on. Some cool throwing weapons, additional ones you use on here. I think the biggest gap in Diablo 2 is just the gap between like weapons and grief and kind of along that way. There's not really a lot of good stuff to get in between that actually has some pretty decent value and isn't like you know, really hard to find or whatever. Like, they tried with Unbending Will, and it was a cool idea, but the problem is six open socket and all that. Like, it just... It's gonna be tough. Yeah, Oath has a high level requirement. I'm a game level based or skill based? What do you mean? The more you use the skill, the better you are at it. Oh. So. The skills are going to be level based, I believe. But I think for. I think it's going to be both, potentially. My thought will be something like when you level up, you now have the opportunity to increase your stats or your skills and or skills, but you have to train them. And so it'll cost a little gold and whatnot, and then additionally, maybe have some, you have to use it a little bit. Let's go, let's go there. Something of, of that nature. 17 life, 23 fire res, let's go. 10 FCR, 18 light res, let's go. Great GC and ring. So, I'm, I'm thinking you'll probably just be able to train your stats up to like your level. But every stat you train will be increasingly more expensive and then how maybe you go about training it will also be a little different. That part I'm still trying to like figure out and think about. I'm talking stats right now. But skills will have their own piece of Damage undead is today's bug. 
How do you train a stat? You go to the training place. Impossible. And the magician, or what you know, the the magic person says, "All right, I can help you train your int." You have to, you know, pay me this amount of gold and maybe do s such and such, right? Solve a puzzle, yeah. Maybe that'll be it, right? Like, for intelligence, you have to solve a puzzle. On top of it. For strength, you have to go brute force. Or not brute force, but, you know, like, mine a certain amount or chop a certain amount of wood or something. I don't know. That part I'm still thinking on if I want to be like that. But I kind of like the idea of it being you don't just get the stats and skills, you know. There's another fall rune. You can't just train every stat to max. So the original thought is you would only get, you know, every level I can get an additional three stats. Right, something like that. The secondary thought is maybe you could train every stat, but it'll be really hard and really expensive to do so. But then it kind of lets you, you know, really bulk up your guy a little bit more if you want. So, but I don't like the idea of you just being able to really have it all. Even if it would be, you know, whatever. So I, I think I like the idea idea more of you being able to get like so you have intelligence, strength, and dexterity. Eldrune. And maybe you can always have up to twice your level total. Or something. So if I'm level a hundred, I can have up to two hundred stats. I can't. And that means I can either have, you know, in whatever combination I want. Uh, No Amrin, but we got two Thal runes running, so not the worst. Impossible. Not the worst by any means. No Ethrins this run, yeah. I would love an Ethrin at some point. Or multiple. None so far. No, this will we'll go all three on it. So, I don't know. I'd love to hear your guys' opinion. Again, we're not, like... I can't. We're, we're deciding different pieces of different parts of, you know, the games as we go along. So, that part is kind of some... Oh my god, please teleport. Not part that is really... Being fully dove into right now, but I'd love to just hear your guys' thoughts and opinions on, you know, what sounds kind of fun with with that and whatnot. How would you like to potentially train stat skills, all that stuff? Would you like to? Would you not? Is it just a gold cost? Is it a you have to go and complete something, return X amount of some materials? Impossible. Impossible. 
kind of like doing the quest for it a little bit. Don't like gold cost for directs. Yeah, I think the gold cost. My thought with the gold cost is. That's just one piece that's a little bit of a, a golden sink. Right. But the ultimate idea is, okay, if I want to increase my intelligence, I go to this magician, this wizard, this sorcerer, whatever, and they say, awesome, I need you to go out and collect me these materials and pay me this amount of gold and I'll concoct a potion that'll increase your intelligence by one or something, you know? And the more intelligent, you know, every time you want to increase higher levels of intelligence, it gets harder and harder to do, but more and more, you know, whatever, right? Hey, well, the wizard doesn't have all the potions. He has to craft it for you, specifically. You kill the wizard, and then you lose your only source of somebody who knows how to make the intelligence potion. You played yourself. Act 3 Merce Viable? Well, he just died, but he's been doing okay otherwise. Probably a barbarian. Do so you have a patent on the potion? Yeah. You can't get that till Nightmare. Right now, I can get a Blessed Aim Mercenary, but Enchant, I think, is going to be a little better than Blessed Aim overall, so. better might or enchant tough to say I would guess probably might who a long sword oh I didn't see who dropped it actually All right long swords are lame anyways Pretty good. Unraveler head as well. Big money, no whammies. Whammies. So would leveling up give you an actual progression or would essentially raise the cap on things you can progress on? So the thought is it would raise the cap. I think it could be cool to do it as a mix and match potentially. When you level up, you'll get a little extra life, a little extra mana, like, you know, all of your base things will improve slightly. Then you can improve a stat of your choice through training, or, or I mean through, uh, you know, using doing the quest and getting the potion. And then you can improve a skill through going and training the skill. Something along those lines. I can't. Impossible. Impossible. 
I don't have any plans currently for another D1 run, but not against it. So you are gaining value just by leveling up. doing a pretty good job in here for players four. Probably does. I would be honored to have Bender have the speed running record of Lama RPG. I can't. Head. Big money. Impossible. One to Iron Maiden. Impossible. Might pop it on for my. What should we call it? Impossible. For the boss fight. See how it does. I mean, he's gonna pop him fast. I just have to hope I can knock him down even faster. Iron Maiden. Not even death can save you from me. Actually, let's try Ant first. It's not great for it. have to resummon a couple times. Do I go for edge bow and nightmare? Probably. What do you need? Makes 
sense to me. No decrap. I don't have decrap. Potential mistake. Let's go get a couple more scallies. I think that I'll focus the golem though and leave the skellies a little bit more alone. Let's go, baby! Lord Diablo, I have bested you. Whew. Good to see you. It's Iron Maiden, not great. Two to P and B skills! Ugh! One to decrepify. Man. That could have been really nice. Really could have been super nice. That was summoning skills. Oh my god, I would have blown a gasket all right let's roll for act five It'll be players one. All right, let's go, baby. It takes more than a siege to stop me. Perfect. just the way we are. You can shot for plus two summoning a nightmare, yeah. Should definitely be nice. What level do I need to be for that? It's like 30... I can't. X. Didn't they see you in L?
Also plus two necro skills, but again, it depends what level you are. That's the part I need to figure out. At what point can I find plus two necro skills? And plus two summon skills. Uh, I've seen 98. I don't know if I've ever seen 99. I do need to think if Edge Bow is going to be good or not, though. Again, on a high player's count, will Edge Bow actually my, be good? What a mess that I demon. just do not know. Two to confuse, three to golem mastery. Impossible. I can't. I can't. Good drops, almost a really good drop. Impossible. Almost. Or preclusion, yeah. That's very generic with the summon build. Hardest clash slash build for a new player. The hardest one? I think an Amazon can be pretty tough. Pretty hard for a newish player. I have a lot of guided playthroughs, exclamation marks, guide, YouTube, whatever. Find all sorts of goodies. on the left side of the screen. Sure. Impossible. Also update the players count. Oh yeah, it's players one right now. Got baited to a time loss. Dual Phoenix Fireclaw? Mm. Impossible. Impossible. Yeah, I don't think I want to be in that grade actually. Can I move the rules to the right side of the screen? Summon Necro rank build in the rank tier. I mean, it depends if you're doing it with a group, with yourself, whatever, but I would say this is an S tier build. Not because it has the crazy S tier damage, but because you can take your hands off the keyboard and relax. 
and it's great I for just so many people it. that you know can't move fast, don't move fast, don't care to move fast, want to relax, all that stuff. It just has a lot of, uh, yeah. You can play it as hard or as easy as you want. Intense, expert, or simple, and it, it's effective in all the ways. What's the expected finish time? Well, it's hard to say, because the player's count bounces around a ton, and then additionally it'll bounce depending on, you know, if people are subscribing or not, so... If we're not getting as many subs per act, then I'll be rolling players 1 to players 4, which will make it a little bit easier. Impossible. If it's like players 8 every time, then that's going to be a lot harder. Impossible. Impossible. Hardcore hell is 1k enough life to have. Probably the minimum I really want you to have there. It should be enough though. Impossible. You'll need to make sure your resistances aren't complete trash, though, otherwise the life pool will go down very quickly. Come on, people, let's get P8 ball. I don't know if we need P8 ball. I think we're doing just fine how we are. Let's enjoy the player's one first, shall we? It's the first time we've had P1, you know? Let's not spoil it. Scratch my head. Thank you. <laughs> Fatal Frog gifted a tier one sub to Golson 1984. Thank you, Bo. Paramedic underscore Bodley gifted a tier one sub to Green Street Two. Very kind of you. Bo. And mimic the mortals with their prime sub as well. Very sweet of you. Green Street 2 gifted a tier 1 sub to Skeleton King 117. Thank you, Green Street. Forwarding on the sub. Yeah, we don't need P8 ball, but P8 Lister sounds good. <laughs> oh. Uh oh. We'll be skipping that. <laughs> Well, I don't roll a new player count until the next difficult or the next act, so. No wave skipping? That's not in the rules. Guava Pirates! Pirates! Tier 3 sub to one very bad gamer. My goodness, you guys. Impossible. Oh, the diapers for the baby. I can't. Thank you. Oh, a tier three sub. All right. My goodness. My goodness, Baba. Impossible. I 
guess we'll respec into that piece later. Impossible. Boo! Happy! And that's 12 out of 12. Okay. Rolling! Thank you guys so much! I'm munching on Catalina Crush. Paramedic underscore boldly gifted a tier one Zero sub sugar. to Ray Danger 2022. Oh, players five. Okay. All right, not the worst. Players five. <laughs> and paramedic. Thank you very much. Putting us to one. Thank you so much. That's better. Y'all are so sweet. Oh boy. Novice level MBS. <laughs> Warm up. Ah, crap. This is right before Ancients. That's annoying. Like it was too easy for you. I don't think that's the case. At least we got a low roll on the wheel. This is true. The lowest it can roll, so. But still, four players higher. Thank you, Moochie. Appreciate that. I can't. With the I prime can't. sub. I can't. My goodness. It's game plan for ancients. Go in there and hit him and hope it works. Maybe separate him off. Do I farm off stream? Uh oh. Have you ever considered doing a sub where each sub increases the time you play one character? I'm not sure I fully understand how how it works. The resting place of the ancients. Good afternoon. And we kind of had that a little bit with the sabathon that we did before, right? Yes. I can't do that here. All right, maybe we will do Iron Maiden two to Blood Golem. One to Iron Maiden on our offhand. Oh my god, loose for win. <laughs> it's a good game. Plus, I've got chat. What more do I need? All right, let's see how this goes. Good evening. I can't. Impossible. Alec is really the concern. Gonna 
go after Korlik, which is us, which is fine. Looks like they are survivable enough. Thank you, Skellies. Today's effect is 100% damage to undead. about the summoner. No, they took damage. Skeletons don't show any, like, life loss or anything. So. Control the skellies like StarCraft? That'd be cool. Hey. <laughs> Practice your marine micro with mages. Impossible. Yeah, having a targeting or a recalling skill or something would be really good for it. Thanks, Corpus. You're gonna be our PR person, Saber. Yeah, you just have to use the telly staff for it, but. question is how do you kill that which has no life Thousand Truths be a llama RPG. Can it? Is there any copyright around having the Sword of a Thousand Truths where I'd get in trouble? If so, maybe we put the Sword of a Hundred Truths. It's a different sword. Let's see. 
We shall see. That's true, like they had Rakanishu and stuff in Borderlands. A thousand Veritas. I do not speak Italian, no. Yeah, and it was rough. Oh my god, it was like a flying, one of those flying bird things. Veritas. Italian sounding for you. Oh boy. Terrible wave. Probably have to. I don't know if we can kill the last wave. We'll see how it goes, I guess. Hydras are so strong, I know. Um, let's go. Yeah, all the bodies are gone. Um, Impossible. Not enough mana. Not room. It's true. Yeah, I mean, we're already, like, taking ideas and things from you know, many of the games that I admire, including Diablo 2, you know, many of the pieces of the game will have similar itemization styles and whatever things. So, you know, there is plenty that is um, being looked at and, and whatnot for it. I think that's totally fine, as long as, you know, it's not just completely the same. But even, like, weapon bases, like, I I didn't really steal weapon bases from Diablo 2 so much as Diablo 2 just has a lot of great weapon bases. So there are, you know, we will have a long sword and a broad sword. We're also going to have a hook sword and, you know, we do have a war door shield instead. But we also have, you know, a buckler. Like, there's just so many things that you know, existed in the day. But, like, those are just, like, antique weapons, historical items. That's not really stealing from Diablo 2. I just was looking through all historical weapons and shields and everything, and those are the ones that I liked. So... like a hydra bow we don't have a hydra bow in our game
kill that one minion. Let's get him. Good afternoon. Because Leaf can destroy everything. Oh, that's what I messed up. Okay. Do you have phones? What do you want a phone for? So you can play it on mobile? Maybe we'll have some mobile. Let's do it. Later on. Oh, and the universe phones. I don't know. Let's go here. Two to Golem Mastery, two to Bone Help Spear. Me. Hey, Llama. Hey, chat. That's a really funny looking druid you have. I need mana. Thanks, Lord Navendar. That it is. All right, players five, bail. You want to play Llama RPG inside of Llama RPG? Oh, that'd be fun. I wondered if D2 made farming because of cows, but I think farming comes from gold farmers and wow. I think cows and OGD2 were just runs. Yeah. more where it came from you yeah. hello not too bad we'll have to go get our skellies back a couple of times now I do have decrepify somewhere don't I, I thought I had decrepify ah oh, there it is but I lose that but I gain that let's try it out Give it a try. Help me. Be honest. You enjoy having dollar bills thrown at you, don't you? So anyways, okay. what are we eating tonight? Um, uh, gotta talk to Moo Girl. But... What is tonight? It is Wednesday. Yeah, it just depends what Blue Girl's into. 
So it's gonna be a little slower for damage, but we also get to cheese him where none of his attacks will actually hit. I still get an okay match of Chipotle, but not as much. He also can't teleport or do anything when he's this slow. That was just her nickname as a kid. Have you ever done a no map speed run? Yeah. All you need for this is a clay golem and a crepify. Is there a run I haven't done? Not a lot of them. I've done most. Cowboy. I just met her not dating it. I haven't done the Spanish run yet. That's right. Why am I using the act tumors? Because he enchants all my minions, so kind of fun. I'll probably swap over to a Might Burst when we get to Act Two, or maybe Holy Breeze. Either one could be nice. I guess it depends if we do the Thorns or a build or not. Seems like a really good build while you're doing your taxes. Yeah. <laughs> we go every day, sure. Yeah, I'm making Lama RPG. The the basic idea of Lama RPG is this. If you are sick and tired of games being ruined by capitalism and corporations nowadays, Lama RPG is for you. We're bringing back old school gaming. Exactly, Epi. Will it work and be great? I don't know. I don't know if I'm good at designing games or not. But I'm gonna try. I'll put that to good use. Good afternoon. We gotta at least give it a try. The new year brings you lots of chipotle and sushi and crunchy mm. peanut butter. Yeah. Some of that was good. Thank you, Rice. Yeah, I was watching that at It was interesting. For a little bit. Immortal King do the soundtrack. Maybe Immortal King can make an appearance with it. All right, that is part normal. Not bad. Mm, we can go do the cows. I guess at this point we get to roll again. 
<laughs> no, way less than that. Figure it out. We'll figure it out, Mariana. Players one. Nah, players three. Players three it is. We're back to zero on that one. Okay. Good evening. Let's try out the cows, see how they do. No. Do we want spirit? Do we want spirit or will it be better to... I mean again, white wand really isn't going to benefit a lot. White gives us plus three to P and B skills, 20 FCR, four to skeleton mastery. I forgot about that. Okay. Insight for the lulls. I think insight would actually be good. Give that to the mercenary and do stomping. So if we can find, you know, a good base there. Yeah, if I could get a plus three skelly wand, that becomes a three four. Now the problem is spirit would give me two, 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 two. On top of also, you know, the plus to uh, whatever. So I need my We'd get a little bit more skelly mastery. One more raised skeleton, but we're losing out on a lot there. Spirit is quite juicy. But of course, if I'm just gonna run around, it may be all moot because what if just running around with Thorn's aura still ends up being the best, you know? Plus two Necrowand is going to be blue, so we can't put a spirit in that. Or I mean anything, any sockets in it, obviously spirit as well. But we can't make a white in that, excuse me. Okay, so we need to just look for our sword bases. Long sword, short sword, broad sword. Or uh, not short sword, crystal sword, broad sword. And then we also need to look for any pole arm. Insight bow. I just feel like it's going to be more beneficial to be running around with, you know, might or a mercenary. American Jeep R gifted a tier one sub to Van Buren 77. Thank you, American Jeep. Partisan. Okay, so that can make a 
into it. It is crude. I can't carry I'd prefer a regular partisan for extra damage, but. Will the thorn scale up nicely? I thought it wouldn't. Impossible. Plus do all skills affect mercs when equipped with them? Would spirit be good on your merc for enchant? Yes. Spirit on my mercenary would be very nice. Crystal sword, let's go. Alright, so if we want that, we have that as an option. Greetings. that soon okay so if we want spirit we can make spirit and I can't I just need to go do a bunch of runs on tower get some runes it's locked Maybe running out here is actually better than tower for the rune since we're on P3. Only one socket quest, exactly. Another Thal rune, okay, so that's three Thal runes, one more. Or we can just make the Am rune. So I think we actually are good then with that tier Tal Am, yep. So we can make our edge now. <laughs> I need a key. We need to do some stash organization on this character. Two to weaken, but it's two open sockets. I need mana. Okay. No, you can play solo, it's definitely worth it. Super fun. All right, let's go to town. Hello. Twenty-one percent fire res. What can I do for you? Okay, let's see, shall we? We want a three open socket bow. And I don't have a tier rune yet? What? I have two eld runes though, if, if I combine my elves. Oh my god. Wait, do I? <gasps> there it is! Oh, that's right, I do remember finding it. Uh, whew, close one. T 
Tear Tal Am. All right, let's see how that sucker does. And do I have a blue preserved head? I thought I did for re-rolling. There it is. One to Iron Maiden. Uh, let's get these suckers out and start cubing. Why'd you F? Oh, for Evo? I have two more skulls. Try it one more time. Uh, that has to crepify. Let's hold that puppy. Okay. Oh my god. And there. One to life tap, one to raise skeletal mage. Ah, two open sockets. Okay, let's go to 